Here are five more signs of a covert abuser outside of physical violence because they do not come with warning labels. First is hypersensitivity. An abuser is easily insulted, often taking the smallest piece of criticism as a personal attack. They tend to rage about everyday difficulties, often perceiving them as injustices, even a traffic ticket or doing bad on an exam. Second is cruelty to animals and children, really anyone more vulnerable than them that they can control. They tend to have an insensitivity to their pain, oftentimes even using their pain to get to their victim. Third, the abuser often has a demanding and non-consensual attitude towards sex, rarely caring if the victim is interested, sometimes even trying to have sex with the victim while they are sleeping or intoxicated, often becoming angry or sulking when the victim declines in order to promote manipulative compliance. Fourth is rigid sex roles for male abusers. Male abusers tend to expect women to serve and obey them, believing that women are inferior and that women are not even a whole person without a relationship to a man. Female abusers tend not to have as much rigid sex roles because we live in a patriarchal society driven by male privilege, so the social location of a woman does not afford her any leverage relative to a man. That's why we tend not to see this with female abusers. And fifth is a Jekyll and Hyde personality. Abusers often have explosiveness and mood swings that tends to be connected to the hypersensitivity covered in the first topic, but does not necessarily mean that they have a mental health disorder. In fact, it tends to be used to promote this sense of unpredictability and feed their own control in the relationship. 